Hi guys! In today's video, I'm going to be doing 100% honest review of famous and underrated slime shops, and I really hope that you enjoy it. So first up we have slime marshmallows with the most amazing slime ever, and I actually thought this was a pom-pom slime to start off with, but when I opened it up, I actually realised there were clay balls on top, and they're all multicoloured with a clear base underneath, so it's so interesting to watch it mix in. I love when slimes are normally marbled and they're white slimes, but when it's in a clear slime, it's so magical. I was really surprised with the texture, because when clay slimes and clear slimes are normally mixed in, it usually makes for a really bubbly clay slime, but this felt more like a gummy bear. It was a really interesting texture. And not only that, it made really nice bubble pops and expanded so much, it probably turned into a nine ounce. Next up we have Cotton Candy Dream and this is such a gorgeous foam slime. Underneath the slime is so clicky and so glossy but on the top it's super crunchy as well which I thought was amazing. And this doesn't actually smell like Cotton Candy which I love because I think that everyone scents these things the same and they call them the same thing but this was so unique because it's scented like pear drops. The slime starts off super glossy but after playing with it for a while it inflates so much and becomes really good at bubble pops. Rainbow chiffon cake is so aesthetically pleasing and it comes with a layered bottom and then you get this white slime to put on top and you can drizzle it if you want. I knew I'd fail on camera though so I decided to just plonk it on top. Then I dropped my confetti on and started mixing it and as you can see this mixes together so interestingly because interestingly, that isn't a word, it is such an interesting way. Because when you mix normal slimes they mix together with the colours very quickly but as you can see here even after mixing it and drizzling it it stays with the colours for a while so after mixing it in fully you get this really fiery orange colour which is so vibrant and amazing and you don't get that gross wet feeling with the slime but it still drizzles really well. Next up we have the Starburst Cloud Slime, but this actually has a slightly different texture from the one before in that it flows a lot more smoothly for some reason. I think it's a more fluffy slime, there's obviously added ingredients in there, and it comes already marbled so you don't have to kind of mix it in to see what the colours would look like next to each other, and it's so beautiful. It comes with little um, nail confetti as well, and as you can see it just flows like a dream, it's so fluffy. It's a lot less thick than the other slime, this is more of a like creamy slime, it feels more like a buttery slime. Cookies and cream comes with the cutest little charm, it actually looks like an Oreo, it has a little O on there, and then when you push down on it, it comes out like a clay texture but not a Daiso texture or model magic, it's a really interesting clay, probably a British one. It's super hard to find good scents over here but this smells just like cookies and cream, I really love the scent. Tangerine Dream flipped over in packaging so it mixed up a bit but it's usually meant to have the clay on the top and the clear bit underneath and it's meant to be completely clear just like the Daydream slime before. This smelled really lightly like oranges, I thought this was a really refreshing scent because it wasn't overpowering and it was so fun to mix in. You didn't get to mix in all the colours like the one before but it's so interesting just to watch the clay and the slime mix together and this comes with three little cute charms. All of the slimes come so well wrapped and they were wrapped in crepe paper and also bubble wrapping and I'm going to be giving away all the slimes from her in this video because she thought one of her packages got lost so she sent another one with the exact same things and then I got both of them and she said I could give one away. She also sent me a candle, borax, care sheet, a little thank you note, some styrofoam and she also wrapped the candle in this gorgeous hollow wrapping paper which is so pretty. Next up we have another UK slimer and this is Emma B slimes and she is another amazing one. This slime's a cloud slime that's layered like a cake so it starts off with purple then pink then green and blue and I can't lie to you because these colours are quite dark I wasn't sure what they'd turn out to be when they were all mixed in but as you can see it turns into this purple hued grey colour and I would actually buy this slime just as it is it's a really pretty slime and because of the nail confetti it kind of looks like an outer space slime that everyone does and this is a really unique cloud slime because it's so thick really dry but it drizzles so smoothly
Dunkin' Donuts is a personal favorite from her just because she has such an amazing charm on top. And I love these hollow glitters. They're so pretty. Are they hollow? I think they're hollow or they might just be rainbow. The slime turns into a really nice light pink and it has some little flown beads in there just to give it a bit of texture and it falls so smoothly. This cast line doesn't have a wet residue at all, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. And like you can see, it's just beautiful and so fun to play with. Penny Sweets is a really clicky white glossy slime and it comes with these little confetti pieces at the bottom. They're both circular and also normal like sprinkly pieces and this smells like pick -a mix and I don't know if they have them in America but it's basically like a sweet scent and it comes with this really nice marshmallow charm on top. Unicorn soup is amazing. It's this teal colour and I don't ever know how to get to it. I always try and make slimes like this at home and it always fails. But this is so glossy, so clicky. It reminds me a lot of Penny Sweets. It just has a different colour and it's also with added flown beads in it. And it comes with such a nice little rainbow charm. Slushy Puppy is slush puppy scented and it leaked a tiny bit so this is going to affect the quality of the slime but it's basically all the goo that came out so it was a bit hard to play with in that the beads would fall out but obviously this really isn't her fault it's just what happens in shipping sometimes. Surprisingly the slime is still really nice to play with it wasn't sticky at all and it made such nice crunches. Bananas and Pajamas was my favourite TV show when I was a kid, so I absolutely love this slime. It was scented like a banana, obviously, and this is so crunchy, really creamy, and it doesn't feel hard in your hands. The flown beads are so soft, so it's really fun and relaxing to play with, and it doesn't give as much crunch as it normally does when you, like, push down on a slime, but when you're, like, twirling it around and creating bubble pops, it creates just as good a thing, and I think it's so much nicer for relaxing effects. Everything came bubble wrapped and it was only that one slime that leaked and she included the most amazing extras, the Candy Kissons Peach Sweets that she included, I ate before the video because they're amazing. She included Borax, a care sheet, loads of sweets and it was so good. Next up we have Feb Slimes and this is her pink sugar cookie slime, cloud, slime, slime, wow. So this is her pink sugar cookie cloud slime and I really enjoyed playing with this because it's so soft. It doesn't leave much of a wet residue, there's a tiny tiny bit but it's really not noticeable. This is my personal preference for cloud slime because the slime itself is so soft and it needs barely any pools for it to become a really drizzly slime like this. The slime scented like sugar cookies and it has some confetti pieces at the bottom just to add a tiny bit of texture and as you can see it has a beautiful colour as well. This slime is probably the glossiest, thickest slime I've ever tried. As you can see, when I push down on it, it's not overactivated at all. It stretches so well. It's just thick and glossy and it inflates so much. The more you play with it, the fluffier it gets. And it has a really nice texture when it gets fluffy because it has a few flown beads in there. So it doesn't make it super crunchy. It just gives it a bit of a different texture. And this is so fun for bubble pops. As you can see, it also gets so thick. It looks like it's just made with a lot of foaming facial cleanser. And I love this. Birthday Kick Ice Cream is a really thick butter slime and as you can see this one is so creamy my hands just melt into it and it smooths over so smoothly. Sprinkling is a foam slime and I think this is really great because it's so glossy, it comes with really nice coloured beads and it's scented like pineapple so it's super refreshing too.
nothing leaked and all the fonts on her thing changed colors so there was a yellow one a pink one and all of them changed which I thought was such a nice touch she included some Daiso two packs of borax a slime care sheet and some extras all the giveaway details are going to be in the description but basically the only things you have to do is subscribe to my youtube channel and also comment down below with your twitter at or your instagram at so I have a way of announcing it and also contacting you and there's a bunch of extra entries that you can do in the description if you want extra chances to win thank you so much for watching this video I really hope that you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe